Hi, I'm Nancy. Welcome to Mindful Yoga. Today we're just doing a gentle version of uh, a yoga routine that has as its theme the lymph system. So we're trying to stimulate the movement of lymph and that movement of lymph comes up from knees this major area of lymph nodes around the groin and lower abdomen in uh, up towards the upper chest in from the armpits another major area of lymph nodes and down from the neck and head down to this area just below the clavicle where there are ducts uh, on the left of the big thoracic duct into which the lymph flow, uh, fluid flows and comes in uh, through the subclavian veins into the uh, bloodstream. So we have this lymph fluid collecting the damaged cells, the bacteria that are in this what's called interstitial fluid, the fluid that is uh, left by the bloodstream to bathe the tissues, to bring nutrients to the cells. Uh, the bloodstream, of course, has the heart pumping it around, but the lymph system depends on the contraction of our muscles, on our movement, on our breathing as part of that movement, and also on our drinking enough water to have fluid in our bodies and having a rich source of potassium. So bananas and leafy greens and cruciferous vegetables. So we're going to be moving this fluid around, moving a little bit faster than usual today. Let's start <clears throat> by bringing our feet directly under our hips. Bring the weight of the hip joints down onto the middle of the heel and out towards the outer part of the heel across the foot over towards the mound of the big toe and the next two toes, brightening the arches equally so that they are lifting up, feeling that lift cupping through deep calves up through the inner thighs, up through those lymph nodes in the groin area and the lower abdomen on either side. There are some little lymph nodes in the abdomen as well and the chest coming up towards that central uh, area where the lymph fluid will come into the bloodstream. Drawing up through the roof of the mouth, the back of the eyes, up through the crown, and then settling down, wiggling the toes, relaxing down through the foot, letting the shoulder blades relax down the back and allowing the front ribs to settle, knitting, everything knitting together on the exhale and lifting up on the inhale. Let's just take two or three breaths, traveling the length of the body, breathing fully as the ribs Expand outward on the sides and the backs in particular. L lungs being bigger in the back than they are in the front. Breathing equally on both sides of the lungs. I'm assured that this breath activity will help our lymph fluid to flow freely. Interestingly enough, Amphibians and reptiles have lymph hearts. Salamanders and newts have 16 or more pairs of lymph hearts that pump the lymph around. Mammals don't have these. They depend on muscle contraction and pulsing and compression. One more breath here. Opening up, opening up spaciousness in the body. Then bring the hands to the elbow, the uh, hands up to the shoulders with elbows bent, elbows wide. Feel that width for a moment. Let's stretch arms out. That would feel good. 
uh, fingers out towards the walls for a moment, stretching through the elbows, and then folding in and fingers to shoulders. Now we're going to circle the elbows, bringing them forward, back up and around. Maybe speed it up a little bit, but always finding the pace that works best for you. So modifying this to your own body and round the opposite direction. Five, four, three, two, and one. Keep the hands on the shoulders. Inhale as elbows rise a little bit and exhale as they come down. Five times, inhale up, exhale down, opening through the armpit area. Inhale up, exhale down. Three more times, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. And one last time. Now keep the hands up on the shoulders and we're going to twist the waist down, stays pretty concrete. Knees can soften a little bit and hands, uh, feet might come a little bit wider. Turning through the shoulders. Bring a little inhale as you go over to one side and exhale out the nose to the other side. And that exhale can come through the mouth if that's easier. Three more. And back through center. Now let's do it the other way uh, so that you're exhaling on the opposite side. Nose or mouth. Three more. Good job. Bring hands down along the side. Feet again are a little bit wider than hip width apart. Make sure that the outside soles of the feet are in line with the sides of the uh, mat. So your feet, your big toes are just slightly pigeon toed under your hips there. We're going to inhale arms up in a big sun breath, hands meet on the top and come down midline. Inhale up and exhale down. One more time. Inhale up, exhale down. Then let's come back up and exhale down. Inhale as hands come up the midline, a reverse sun breath. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Now bring the feet just a little bit wider than hip width apart. And we're going to start just a small squat. So just bending the knees a little bit and coming back up. Hips reach back slightly. This is just a slight squat for five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're adding something to this. <clears throat> Imagine that we have a bow, <coughs> excuse me, and we pull the string across the chest, the other arm pushes the wood of the bow out and we bend knees just as we were in that squat. Let the squat come up, hands back to center. Other hand pulls the string across and the opposite hand pushes out on the bow. <coughs> Inhale as you come to center, long exhale as you send that arrow of kindness into the world. One more time on each side, inhale center, 
Exhale, push the bow out. Inhale, center, and exhale, push the bow out. Come back through center. And we're going to come down into a forward fold. If that's too much for you, you can always have a chair in front of you and let your, your forward fold come down as far as the chair. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, down with hands on opposite elbows. As you come down, knees and hips are soft. Hands come to shins. Inhale as you extend out through the spine. If your hands are on the chair here, just extend out through the spine. Exhale down. Bend knees and hips. Arms sweep up and out and up overhead. Bring them down through midline. Forward fold or fold down onto the chair. Hands might be on opposite elbows. Inhale, hands to shins. Extend out through the spine. Exhale down. Soften the knees and hips as you sweep up and around. And one last time, down midline. Forward fold. Down towards floor or to the back of the chair. Inhale, hands to shin. Extend out through spine. Exhale down. Inhale, sweep arms up and around. And let's come down into chair. So knees are slightly bent, hips are out to the back, and where our hands are out in front with palms facing each other. Just come down as far as is comfortable. You might be coming down quite a bit or just a little bit. Inhale up. Exhale back into chair. <clears throat> Inhale up and exhale back. Now hold here for a minute and we're going to pulse up. One, two, three, four, and five. And bring it up. <clears throat> hold the hands overhead. Bring palms together. Bring the feet a little wider apart because we're going to come down. Bend knees and bring the elbow in the direction of the thigh. It might tap the thigh, it might not come close, but it's in that direction. Inhale up and exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. <clears throat> Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down and come up through center. Feet are underneath the hips. Feel those hip joints coming down into the center and outside of the heels and good firm feet here. Bring the arms out to the side and we're going to flap our arms. So as you reach out, feel the energy coming out through your little finger, palms are down and we're going to push up and down. Go at your own rate. Flapping like a rather ineffectual bird, I think right now. <laughs> and then come down, pushing down towards the hips, keep the palms down, lift them up and down and up and down and come back through center, turn the palms up. So now my palms are up, I reach out through the thumbs, reaching out for a moment, then flapping very, just an inch or so at your own rate. Flapping up a little bit. And then we're going to bring <clears throat> the hands up and fingertips might come together or Palms might just face, face each other above the head and come down. And two more times, inhaling up and exhaling down. Inhale up and exhale down. And bring the hands down. Just shake the arms a little bit. Then we're going to bring the arms out 
One more time from the shoulders. Feet are right under the hips. Lift the hips just slightly and then turn the eyes to the right, turn the eyes to the left and come down as eyes come to center. Lift hips slightly, eyes center, eyes right, eyes left, eyes center and bring the heels down. If it doesn't work to bring the heels up, don't worry about it. Inhale, up, right, left, center, and down. Once again, inhale, up, right, left, center, and down. One last time. Perhaps heels rise a little bit, look to the right, look to the left, center, and down. Good job. Shake up those arms once more. And then we're going to do some uh, joint warm-ups here. So bringing the hands together, interlaced, forearms coming towards each other, perhaps stuck together. And we're going to draw a figure eight, warming up those wrist joints. Four, three, two, one. Un, uh, unwind and bring together the fingers once again in the opposite direction. Other hand leads, the non-dominant hand leads for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring our attention to our neck for a moment, this place where there are a number of lymph nodes uh, around the throat, behind the ears, in the back of the neck that drain down into this upper chest area. Bring the chin down to the chest, draw a necklace. And as we move, we massage the lymph nodes and encourage the movement of that lymph fluid. Bring chin over one shoulder and look back and then the other. The lymph fluid brings all that interstitial fluid, the excess, you might say excess blood, but important blood that bathes the tissues and brings nutrients to the cells. Now we're going to turn chin to chest, a uh, chin to uh, shoulder, sorry, and then bring the chin down towards the collarbone, lift and bring back to center. Other side, chin over to shoulder, chin to shoulder, to uh, clavicle, and back up and around. Chin over towards shoulder, down towards collarbone, rise up, center. Chin to shoulder on the other side, down towards clavicle, up and back. Now we're going to switch it up a little bit. Chin to, goes towards shoulder, then stretching this front part of the neck, we're going to glance back over our shoulder and then come back and center. Chin to shoulder, stretching the front side of the neck, looking back over the shoulder and then coming back to horizon eyes and back to center. Chin to shoulder, look back, stretch, bring it back to center. Chin to shoulder, reach back, and come back through center. One more time on each side, chin to shoulder, stretching the side of the neck in the front as you gaze back, bring your eyes back to the horizon, back to center, chin to shoulder, stretching the front side of the neck back to the horizon and back to center. Now we're going to bring hands to hips and you might have a hand on the chair for this. <clears throat> bring your weight into one foot, the other foot comes back, tuck the toes and then we're gonna to circle to the front of the toes and the back of the toes. So a light movement around the toes for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and back around the opposite direction. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. And then we'll do the other foot. Fine, use the chair if you'd like to for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and back around the opposite direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's come back up to the top part of our body. Bring shoulders up towards the ears, bring them back and down and around. A little quicker than usual, maybe, for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, four around the opposite direction, four, three, two, and one. Now bring the feet wider than hip width apart, knees are soft and hips are soft, and we're going to keep the uh, feet pretty well planted and not much movement from the waist down. The movement from the waist up as one the front hand comes up and taps the shoulder corner and the other one comes back and taps the kidney area behind the waist. So coming back and forth in a fairly quick movement. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let the feet remain wide, arms are heavy along the side, and we're going to turn the hips, giving some stimulation to that lymph fluid, the lymph nodes that filter um, the lymph fluid down around the groin and the lower abdomen, back around the opposite direction. Bring that fluid up and encouraging the um, lymph nodes that are located in the intestinal area as well and come back through center. Bring the knees together and feet together. Hands come just above the uh, knees and fingers can be down over the knees and turn the knees for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back around the opposite direction. Four, three, two, one. And then we're going to do a standing cat cow. So let the shoulders hunch forward and the, and the chin come to the chest, the hips come back, then opening up pelvis forward a bit and shoulders back, chest forward, gaze up, and just going back and forth in between those two movements. It may turn into a rhythmic undulation of the spine or it may not. Either way, it's fine. <coughs> Three, two, and one. Then bring hands to heart and let the gaze be down. Just checking in with the body, feeling the prana moving. Some people say they feel the lymph fluid moving within them, just under the skin. Then bring the feet a little wider than hip width apart. We're going to do a breath of joy. It's three short inhales and one long exhale. So inhale, arms to front, side, and up, and then bend the knees and arms come back behind with a big exhale. Inhale, inhale, inhale. <sighs> One last time. Very good. Let's come down into a tabletop position. So coming down onto mat with hands right under the shoulders and knees under the hips. And we'll again come back to that cat cow, which kind of wakes up the whole body, letting the tailbone rise and the back arch up 
in the cat and cow. Let's change up the breathing a little bit. So bring your exhale. I'm going to bring your inhale when the back arches, inhaling with back arch, and then exhale as the tailbone rises. Tailbone goes down, back arches, inhale, exhale as the gaze rises. One more time. And coming back through center, bring the weight into uh, the left hand and the, no, let's, let's keep both hands on the mat. And we're going to stretch back the left leg. So stretching that leg back and then bringing it up with chin coming towards the chest as the knee comes under the um, chest and in and out and in at your own spot, speed. Two more. And if you don't want to get down, you can always do this on the back of the chair as well. So that's an option here. And we'll come to the other leg, bringing it up under the belly, nose goes down towards the knee in the direction of the knee, back and forth. Modifying as you need to. And if wrists give you problems, then being up on the chair, uh, with hands on the chair, will be the best way to do this. For three, two, and one. Now you can stay in tabletop. I'm going to just show this from the back of the chair, in case that's where you are. We're going to bend a knee and bring it out. So I'm just bending the knee and bringing it out. You can be in tabletop doing hydrant or you can be up here one more time. Then bring the knee out and make a small circle. In one direction, three, two, and one, and then round the opposite direction. Three, two, and one. Bring that foot down. And if you're in tabletop, bring the Hydrant knee out, if you're on the back of the chair, bring the knee out and in, and out, and in, out, and in, one last time. Then bring the knee out, and small circles that you're drawing with the knee, three, two, and one, and round the opposite direction, three, two, and one. Now, whether you're in tabletop or in the position that I'm in right now, we're going to lift the leg, bring it out to the side all the way, then bring it back, then bring it across, tap down on the mat, and bring the gaze back to meet it. So coming around, coming up, the knee out, kick out, Come back, cross over, gaze goes back. Come back into hydrant or lifted knee, just as far as is right for you. Kick out, kick back, and come across and bring the gaze back to that toe. One last time, knee bent and then kicking out, kicking back, crossing, looking back, gaze for a moment and bring the foot back. So we'll do that on the other side. This time I'll do it in tabletop position. So either one of these positions is fine. We're lifting the knee up into hydrant and we're kicking out to the side, kicking back, crossing, gaze comes back, gaze at that toe and then come up into hydrant down. Hydrant, kick out, kick back, cross, gaze goes back to meet that toe. Two more times, hydrant, kick out, 
kick back, cross over, gaze goes back, back to hydrant, kick out to the side, back, cross, and look over. Then come to a comfortable position. It might be a standing position or it might be a child's pose. Arms might be extended out in front of you. If it's more comfortable, to just back up from the chair uh, or stand. Just a moment of rest here and a little bit of breathing because breathing itself encourages the flow of the lymph fluids throughout the body. The lymph fluids also carry the fats from the GI tract, from the digestive system, to the bloodstream. So we can keep our lymph fluid flowing well by eating healthy fats. And then coming up, uh, we're going to come into a downward dog now. You can do this on the mat or you might do a downward dog on the chair. So I'll be doing a downward dog on the chair, reaching back, feet are directly under the hips, and stretching back through the extended arms. If that's not comfortable, just come up a little bit. So adapting to what you need, or you might be on down, in downward dog on the mat. Stretch back through arms and the sides of the body, through the hips. Feel the um, stretch through the legs. And you might pedal the legs, whether you're down on the mat or coming back from the chair, lifting the heels if you're on the chair and uh, pedaling down and up if you're on the mat. Now let's bring one foot forward. So if you're on the mat, you're bringing one foot forward into somewhat of a high lunge. And then we're going to be going, straightening the front leg and bringing that foot back, enough foot back, the um, straightening and bending the front leg. So if you're on the chair, bending the leg and straightening the front leg, coming back and forth. The pelvis moving backward and forward. And bring the feet together uh, it, and bring the other one back. So if you're on the mat, once again, hands are down around the front foot and your pelvis is coming forward and back with that leg straightening and bending. And similarly, if your hands are on the back of the chair. Bringing the torso more or less parallel with the earth. One more time. And then bring feet together. We're going to come into a cactus. So arms are up to the side. You can be on your knees if you're still down on the mat or you can be standing. Arms come into cactus, with an upright spine with feet grounded, energy coming up through the body. And then we're going to push the pelvis forward slightly, chest opens a little bit more, very slight back bend, and come in back into upright spine. Inhale, chest comes forward, pelvis comes forward a bit, and of course elbows go back a bit, and bring it back to just an upright spine. So just opening a bit, very good for bringing the uh, lymph fluids from the armpits into the center of the chest. Opening through the abdomen area, through the chest, just in a mild side bend. I have found this to be a very comforting and effective side bend. It isn't a lot, but it's just enough to open up the chest and the abdominal area. Two more times. And 
bring the arms down. Now we're going to come into a warrior one. So one foot is forward and one foot is back. There's some space in between your feet. Bringing the hips aligned across from nine to three. Front knee is bent over the uh, ankles. Inhale, arms up, reach up, reach up, reach up. Feel that reaching from the back heel all the way up through the hip flexors, up through the shoulders, armpits, up through the fingertips, and bring it down. So we haven't done a back bend yet, and we're bringing the arms down and back, and then reaching up once again. And bring the arms down, reach up, and this time we're going to Lengthen up through the hips, up through the spine, and feel the a little back bend in between the shoulder blades. Gaze is up slightly, and come back. Arms come down, up once again, reach up with the fingertips up towards the ceiling, and then lengthen up through the hips, distribute the back bend up through the spine, chin remains a little tucked, Feeling the back bend between the shoulder blades and bring it down. Now let the arms come up behind you. Bring the torso parallel and the front leg becomes straight. Knee bends over the ankle, arms come up, just up towards the ceiling, and then knee straightens and come down. With the leg straight and the torso parallel. Two more times, reaching up and coming back. And one more time, reaching up and extending the fingertips back, crown forward. And then bring hands to the hips and feet come together. Bring the hands to the heart, just take a breath. Nice big breath, it helps everything. And then the other foot comes back into warrior one. So front foot, toes forward, back foot at about 30 degrees, knee just above the ankle. Hips are aligned, in line with the front of the mat. Inhale, arms up. Let the fingers reach up towards the ceiling. Feel that reach from the back heel up through the front of the hip, sides of the ribs, up through the armpits, up through the fingertips, and bring it down. Inhale up, reach up, full body stretch up towards the ceiling, and back down. One more time, up, reach up and up, and back down. This time we reach up towards the ceiling and then open through the front of the body, distributing that movement all the way up through a long spine, feeling the back bend between the shoulder blades. Come down, reach up, and one last little back bend here, reaching up. Send up through the hips, up through the spine, squeeze shoulder blades together, gaze goes up, chin's tucked, and bring it down. This time, hands come back behind, torso comes parallel. Inhale up, exhale forward. Inhale up, exhale forward. And then as you come up, bring the hands to the hips and the feet together. Good job. We've got our lymph fluid moving, letting it return all its proteins and excess fluid from the body. Uh, about three liters of blood that doesn't go back in, that needs to go back into the bloodstream after bathing the tissues. We have about 20 liters of blood per day 
and three of those leaders are brought back into the bloodstream after they've uh, collected the damaged cells and bathed the cells and tissues in nutrients. Then they come back into these ducts and veins and into the bloodstream, thanks to the lymph system. So we're just giving it a little help today. Let's come down into a sitting position and we're going to do just a little bit of massage. So you could be on a blanket, you could be on a chair also. You can sit down in a chair if, if that works best for you or you can be on blocks. So finding some kind of sitting position. And we're going to do some massage for the lymph system. So the first thing we're going to do, bring your uh, ring fingers, your ring fingers to those two mid bones of the collarbones, and then bring them up a little bit, just to the soft place, just above that, inside these sinews that come down and very gently very gently we're going to push in and release push in gently and release just about the weight of a coin that you would be pulling across a table very very lightly about once a second so a slow pulsing here Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Next, we're going to bring the flat of our fingers and hands behind the ears and along uh, the jaw, the side of the neck. And we're just going to draw again, very gently down, not really moving the hands, just the surface of the skin, slowly being moved a little bit down and back up. Once again, slowly massaging those lymph nodes in the area behind the ears, encouraging that lymph fluid to come down carrying white blood cells, water, cellular debris, bacteria, bringing them back to the lymph nodes for filtering and bringing all that fluid, evening out the fluid of the body as it comes back into the bloodstream. Next, we're going to bring the flat of our fingers to the back of our necks, right under the occipital ridge, under the skull. And again, just this slight movement down, just pulling very gently on the skin downwards with the flat of the fingers. So it's a small movement. And were you doing this completely for a good, complete lymph massage, you would do each of these places 50 times. And sometimes I do this, uh, especially if I can't get to sleep at night. It's settling and it's also encouraging this movement of the lymph fluid that doesn't have its own heart to pump it around the body. So we, we give it its heart in a sense by moving, by eating good food, drinking lots of water and good food, especially vegetables with potassium and bananas with potassium for four, three, two, and one. Now bring your hands so that your forefinger and middle finger are together, like on Star Trek, and we'll bring those little finger and ring finger out in front of the ear and the other fingers back behind. And again, we're going to have this movement as gentle as pushing a coin across the table as the flats of the fingers just gently pull the skin down. Breathing gently as you do this for five, four, three, two, and one. 
Let's take a moment to bring the hands to the thighs and breathe, allowing the side and back ribs to expand. Expanding that inhale up under the armpits. Letting the collarbone rise slightly. All of this breathing, giving movement to the body, contracting muscles, bringing compression where it's needed, helping the lymph fluid in its job of immunity for the body. Now for the ending here, we're going to lie down and do some breathing <clears throat> that itself uh, aids in lymph massage. So bringing yourself down into a lying position. First, let the hands come to the lower abdominal area with fingers pointed down uh, in each direction like a big V going towards the pubic bone. Just some gentle pressure here with the flat of the hands in the same way as we did before. Gently massaging those lymph nodes around the groin and up the lower abdomen. Just a slight pulling of the skin upwards for five, four, three, two, and one. Now bring one hand to the belly button and one hand to the upper chest. As we breathe on the inhale, we'll raise up the belly button and then raise up the chest. On the exhale, we'll let the belly button area go down and then the chest area goes down. So inhale, belly button rises. Rest of the inhale, the chest rises. Exhale, belly button area descends and the rest of the exhale, the chest descends and continue. Always the belly button area before the chest on the inhale and the exhale. And a few more times, drone rate. then relax <clears throat> if it feels good for you to bring the soles of the feet together you might give yourself some support underneath the uh, thighs just by the glutes again bring your attention to the lymph nodes in the lower abdomen breathing deeply a few more times Enjoying the flow and movement of the body. And helping the knees to close together, giving the knees a hug. Perhaps bringing the nose towards the knees and bringing it back. Bring the knees out towards the armpits and hug them back in. Taking a moment to consider what from your Yoga practice today, you can bring back into your life, perhaps simply the flow and ease of the body. And then rolling over, we'll come to a brief sitting position, or you can stay on your back if you would like. 
and we will do three ohms together to close our unity of time together. Inhale. Om. 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 Namaste. Thanks for practicing with me and keep that lymph moving. Lots of movement and breathing and plenty of good water.